Championship belts are of utmost importance in wrestling, representing financial gain, assured pay-per-view earnings, and an enhanced quality of life. While some belts have been revered throughout wrestling history, others have been met with skepticism. Beyond these well-known belts, there exists a realm of untold stories. In today's video, I'll be shedding light on 10 wrestling title belts that have never made it to television screens. Diving into the realm of wrestling titles that remain unseen, I'm here to reveal stories that have stayed behind the scenes or in storage. These belts have remained hidden from public view, denied the opportunity to be displayed on television screens that broadcast wrestling events. My purpose is to unveil this lesser known aspect, shedding light on a collection of creations that have yet to receive their moment in the public eye. As I uncover these stories, I invite you to reflect on the significance of these untold narratives within the larger context of wrestling's history. Remember, if you see any belt on this list that arouses your interest and fills you with a mighty need, you can click the link in the description to have it custom made just for you. Join me on a journey into the world of wrestling's overlooked titles, where we'll explore insights, surprises, and a deeper understanding of the lesser known champions of belt design. Number 10, the WWE Cruiserweight Tag Team Titles. The WWE Cruiserweight Tag Team Titles stand as a unique and relatively lesser known chapter in wrestling history. Created during a time of creative experimentation, these titles were conceptualized but never actually made their way onto the television screens. Despite the absence of visual representation, the existence of these titles holds a notable place among wrestling enthusiasts. Crafted as an attempt to diversify and elevate the cruiserweight division, these titles aim to showcase the agility and high-flying skills of the lighter weight wrestlers. Although no images of the titles are available, the concept of cruiserweight tag team titles aligned with the fast-paced and dynamic nature of the cruiserweight division. Interestingly, the WWE Cruiserweight Tag Team titles were designed, produced, and are known to physically exist within the WWE environment. Yet, for reasons that remain undisclosed, these titles never found their way into official storylines or championship tournaments on television. While the WWE Cruiserweight Tag Team titles remain a footnote in the annals of wrestling, they serve as a testament to the ever-evolving landscape of championship belt designs and creative endeavors within the realm of professional wrestling. Number 9. The King of the Ring Championship The King of the Ring Championship holds a distinctive place in wrestling lore, embodying both creativity and the desire of wrestlers to stand out. This unique championship emerged from the aftermath of the annual King of the Ring tournament, where the victor was crowned King of the Ring. However, this concept expanded beyond mere accolades, sparking the creation of an unconventional title. In 1995, following his King of the Ring victory, Mabel decided to take his regal status to the next level. He commissioned the crafting of a King of the Ring championship, signifying his monarch-like persona. The championship featured an eye-catching design, incorporating a purple crown emblem as its centerpiece, which tied into Mabel's royal identity. Remarkably, this custom championship was made and existed in the wrestling landscape, yet it curiously never found its way onto television screens, remaining a hidden gem within the wrestling world. While Mabel, also known as Viscera and Big Daddy V, showcased the belt at conventions and indie events, it remained untelevised in official WWE storylines. The King of the Ring Championship is a testament to the wrestler's desire to explore unique avenues of self-expression. Even though it remained unseen by mainstream audiences, this belt reflects the innovative spirit of wrestling and how its participants are willing to invest in their characters beyond the standard championships, leaving an intriguing chapter in the history of championship designs. Number 8. The Brahma Bull Belt I was a huge rock fan as a kid, but still, this belt just doesn't measure up for me. The allure of wrestling often extends beyond the confines of the ring, encompassing intricate title designs that symbolize prestige and power. Among these, the Brahma Bull Belt stands as a curious anomaly, a creation that never graced the screens of professional wrestling. Resembling the iconic Brahma Bull emblem associated with Dwayne The Rock Johnson, this belt was intended to mirror The Rock's larger-than-life persona. Adorned with a children's breakfast cereal box lightning bolt and a main belt plate deviating from the typical circular form, the Brahma Bull Belt exudes a distinct aura that could either be its charm or its quirk. One might wonder if it's the bold design, featuring a somewhat squashed-looking main plate, 
or the conspicuous presence of a big cow head that prevented it from becoming a televised spectacle. Crafted as a counterpart to Stone Cold Steve Austin's famed smoking skull belt, the Brahma Bull belt aimed to capture the essence of The Rock's persona. Yet despite its unique concept and association with a legendary figure, it remains stashed away in the obscurity of a WWE warehouse, untelevised and uncelebrated. In the grand tapestry of wrestling history, the Brahma Bull Belt remains a fascinating yet untold chapter, embodying the idiosyncrasy that makes wrestling's past so captivating. Number 7. Edge's Unseen Rated R Superstar Belt The unrevealed version of Edge's Rated R Superstar Championship Belt stands as an intriguing yet unseen piece of wrestling history. Reflecting Edge's persona as a provocative and edgy character, the belt was designed to encapsulate his Rated R Superstar moniker. While the exact visual details remain undisclosed due to its absence from television, the concept and symbolism behind the belt are notable. Edge's persona underwent a transformation during the mid-2000s, embracing a darker and more risque image. The Rated R Superstar gimmick positioned him as a controversial and rule-breaking figure, making his presence felt in memorable rivalries and storylines. The unrevealed championship belt was intended to mirror this rebellious persona. WE had intentions of taking an additional stride by introducing a completely fresh championship belt. This belt would have boasted shades of red and white, featuring a more pronounced and eye-catching R at its center. The design was envisioned to bear resemblance to the classic intercontinental title, infusing a nostalgic touch. Regrettably, this plan never progressed beyond the conceptual phase and the belt was never brought into the manufacturing stage. Nonetheless, it's an enjoyable exercise to envision the Rated R Superstar having a personalized and uniquely styled championship belt, encapsulating his distinctive persona. Despite its conceptualization, the Rated R Superstar belt never made its way onto television screens during Edge's tenure. The reasons for this decision remain undisclosed, leaving fans to speculate about what the belt might have looked like and how it would have complemented Edge's on-screen character. While unseen by the public eye, the unrevealed Rated R Superstar Championship belt serves as a unique representation of the intricate ways wrestling personas and merchandise intertwine. It remains a testament to the multifaceted nature of wrestling promotion, where concepts, designs, and ideas often exist beyond the realm of television, yet play a crucial role in shaping the characters that captivate audiences. Number 6. The Internet Championship Before Matt Cardona became the king of the indies, he played the lovable goof Zack Ryder on WWE television. A charismatic wrestler with a knack for self-promotion, Ryder used the power of YouTube to propel himself into the spotlight. His web series, Z True Long Island Story, not only garnered a dedicated fan base but also led to the creation of the Internet Championship. The Internet Championship is a unique relic of wrestling history, hearkening back to a time when the digital realm was beginning to intertwine with the wrestling world. Initially a playful replica of the Intercontinental Championship, the Internet Championship gained a life of its own as writers' popularity surged. The championship's evolution from a homemade creation to a legitimate belt made by Wildcat Belts symbolized the impact of online platforms on wrestling promotion. Despite its significance to Ryder's rise and its unique place in wrestling history, the Internet Championship never found its way to television screens in any official capacity. It made appearances at house shows and independent events, serving as a tangible representation of Ryder's connection with his fans. While the Internet Championship's absence from televised wrestling might be puzzling to some. Its legacy remains a testament to the innovative ways wrestlers can harness the power of digital media to shape their careers and engage with their audience, forever leaving its mark on the intersection of wrestling and the online world. Number five, the Hulk Hogan Photo Championship. The Hulk Hogan Photo Championship stands as an intriguing anomaly in the world of wrestling belts. Crafted during a time when Hulk Hogan was a global wrestling icon, this belt held a unique concept. Rather than featuring traditional metal plates, the belt incorporated transparent photo holders, allowing for interchangeable images of Hogan to be displayed prominently on the championship. This experimental design was a testament to the larger-than-life persona of Hulk Hogan and his enduring influence on wrestling fans. However, despite its conceptualization and potential appeal to fans, the Hulk Hogan Photo Championship never transitioned from idea to reality, remaining confined to the realm of creative experimentation. The belt's absence from televised wrestling might stem from various factors, including logistics, feasibility, or even creative direction. 
Regardless, the Hulk Hogan Photo Championship remains a curious piece of wrestling history, encapsulating the innovative spirit that occasionally emerges in the realm of championship belt designs. Its uniqueness serves as a reminder of how wrestling continually pushes boundaries, even in the realm of merchandise and title belts, leaving fans to wonder how Hogan's image could have adorned this distinctive championship. Number 4. The Original IWGP Heavyweight Title Version 5 the IWGP Heavyweight Championship, a prestigious prize in New Japan Pro Wrestling, has undergone various iterations, one of which you can see in the card on the top right of the screen, each reflecting the evolution of the company's legacy. Among these, the unrevealed fifth version of the IWGP Heavyweight title stands as a fascinating chapter in the belt's lineage. The decision to introduce a fifth edition indicates a continuous pursuit of perfection in design and symbolism. While the fourth version of the IWGP heavyweight title garnered admiration for its intricate detailing and iconic appearance, the design journey didn't end there. The unrevealed fifth edition aimed to strike a balance between tradition and modernity. The tantalizing image of this unbuilt belt showcases a blend of leather and gold, capturing the essence of championship glory. However, despite the evident efforts to craft a worthy successor to the fourth iteration, the unrevealed design was never brought to fruition. The reasons for this decision remain undisclosed. Perhaps it was a realization that the fourth version had already achieved a pinnacle of design excellence. Nonetheless, the unrevealed fifth edition serves as a testament to the meticulous craftsmanship that goes into wrestling championship belts, even when those designs remain unseen by the public eye. The existence of the unconstructed IWGP Heavyweight Title Version 5 underscores the perpetual evolution of wrestling's visual representation and the dedication of companies like New Japan Pro Wrestling to continually refine their titles, ensuring that each design resonates with the company's ethos and legacy. And number three, the Andre the Giant WWF Championship Belt. The WrestleMania 3 showdown between Hulk Hogan and Andre the Giant is etched in wrestling history. WE skillfully marketed the possibility of Andre defeating Hogan, a narrative amplified by Bobby Heenan's claims that the regular WWE title couldn't accommodate Andre's immense size. To substantiate this, Heenan unveiled a specially crafted championship belt tailored to fit Andre's colossal waist. The belt featured the same design as the WWE title, magnified threefold to match Andre's proportions. While glimpsed on TV briefly, particularly as Heenan flaunted it, the belt made only a couple of appearances before Hogan emerged victorious in the match. Curiously, the custom-made championship belt was never utilized during Andre's brief 45-second title reign in 1988. Its absence during this period remains a missed opportunity. The unrealized potential of the Andre the Giant WWF Championship serves as a reminder of the intricacies that go into wrestling storytelling, capturing the imagination of fans through creative visuals and narratives. Despite its limited visibility, this unique belt endures as a symbol of the unforgettable Hogan-Andre clash and the behind-the-scenes efforts to enhance wrestling's allure. Number 2. Vegas Big Gold Pardon me for being a Bobby Heenan mark. In 1991, the wrestling world was left in shock as Ric Flair made the surprising move from WCW to WWE, known as WWF at the time. Adding complexity to the situation, Flair appeared to possess ownership of WCW's top prize, the iconic Big Gold World Heavyweight Championship belt. During this intriguing period, Bobby Heenan publicly displayed the belt as a symbol of Flair's status. However, the legal landscape took a twist when WCW raised the specter of a lawsuit against WWE. In response to the looming legal threat, WWE embarked on an inventive approach. They crafted a nearly identical version of the Big Gold Belt in Las Vegas, carefully integrating subtle differences to distinguish it from the original. The intention was to showcase the replica while avoiding direct replication. As the legal dispute escalated, the situation grew more tangled. Eventually, the lawsuit dissipated, coinciding with Flair's triumph in capturing the WWE title. This legal turmoil led to the abandonment of the Las Vegas project, leaving the world tantalizingly close to witnessing the creation of the Vegas Big Gold Belt. The concept of the Vegas Big Gold Belt serves as a testament to the intricate legal battles and creative maneuvers that often underscore wrestling narratives. Although this unique belt never fully materialized, it remains a compelling footnote in wrestling history, a testament to the transient nature of championship belts and the intricate web of ownership and legality within the industry. Number 1. Boulder Eagle WWE Championship Concept 
The Boulder Eagle WWE Championship presents a captivating insight into WWE's design aspirations. Esteemed for its iconic winged eagle belt design, WWE sought to reinvigorate their titles in 2015, turning to the beloved eagle motif for inspiration. The concept unveiled a striking visual, a dynamic golden eagle bursting forth with its talons tightly gripping the WWE logo, poised to strike. This audacious design carried a promise of elegance when paired with gold and diamonds, poised to reinvent championship aesthetics. However, this innovative vision remained confined to paper, never making its way beyond the concept stage. The Boulder Eagle WWE Championship emerges as a creative marvel that, regrettably, remained anchored to the drawing board. This untapped potential hints at an alternative design direction that might have better suited the company's image than the prominent WWE logo. While this resplendent eagle design never achieved physical fruition, it remains a testament to WWE's continuous quest to marry innovation with tradition, continually refining the visual tapestry of championship belts. What did you think of our list? Did we miss one of your favorite wrestling title belts never seen on TV? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video with your fellow wrestling belt enthusiasts.